Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Pauli Malignaggi uh, went off in a recent interview on Adrian Bronner. Basically, uh, he's admitting there are talks for the fight. Um, there are also talks about him fighting in Abu Dhabi, but I'm not sure how solid that is. He's got a purse bid coming up. Golden Boy is supposed to uh, have an exemption for that. And Adrian Bronner apparently wants to move up two weight classes. So check out the interview, Pauli Malignaggi on the Adrian Bronner fight. Peace out, guys. Take care. Yeah, you know, there's, uh, there's some it's a pretty serious talks, you know. Um, I don't know to what extent they've, uh, they've made progress because the, the, the side note that everybody forgot about is there's a purse bid for my title on Monday morning, and I don't think anybody took care of that, and that's what I'm, I'm waiting for that answer, you know. Like, I'm, I'm down with fighting Adrian, you know. I'm down for that fight. I just don't know... Uh, how that person situation is going to be handled. I know Golden Boy's trying to figure out if they can get an exemption, if they can maybe make a deal with uh, Osvaldo Rivero, who's a uh, Chavez promoter, and maybe make a side deal. Or if we indeed are going to go to person and fight Chavez and not Brown, right? You know, it's, uh, it's kind of all coming together at the last minute. So we're uh, trying to plan it out. Um, I'm just trying to sit in the gym and train. And, uh, you know, when I get an answer, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wait for that call, you know? I know it's up to the promoters, managers, and whatnot, but you, you as a fighter, uh, what would interest you more? Would it be the, the mandatory? Would it be a Broner fight, or why? Whatever pays me more, man. Yeah, honestly, whatever pays me more. I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm going for. You know, like, obviously, to the naked eye, it looks like Broner would pay more. It should pay more. But there's these investors from Abu Dhabi that keep pushing for, to get me out there. They, they love me. I don't know what it is, man. But but um, they keep pushing to get me out there. Now they are, they've actually said that they will bid if it goes to the bid. So so if that's the case, you know, uh, you know, maybe they'll uh, make a hefty bid and, and I will fight Chavez in Abu Dhabi, or maybe not. Like I said, I mean, my guess is as good as yours. There's so many, there's so much that could possibly happen. Um, I, I don't know. I stopped trying to guess, really. I just uh, told myself, you know, I told everybody, you know what, I'm just going to go to the gym and train every day. And when I get my call, when I get the answer, I'll, uh, I'll have it, you know. But uh, whatever one pays more, I'm down to do. You know, I'm, uh, I, I like the Broner fight. I don't mind the Chavez fight. Uh, I'm getting paid, man. That's all I care about. Speaking of Broner, he, he, he's moving up to weight classes, so I, I'm sure you never thought you'd be able to fight him this soon. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And more importantly, how do you see a fight with him than you play now? Yeah, I never, I never even pictured Broner as a possible foe or opponent ever, ever. So, you know, when he got brought up to me, I was kind of surprised and shocked. Uh, but you know, I think he's a good little fighter. You know, uh, he's got some skills. Uh, I just don't think he's big enough. I don't care who he spars. I, I don't spar. I spar in the gym. I don't spar on fight night. I fight on fight night. You know, so so I don't care. You know, I don't know. You know, his trainer was a good trainer, Mike Stafford. You know, he said uh, maybe he spars a middleweight so he can handle me. Um, Hey, whatever, man. You know what I mean? I don't spar on fight night. I fight on fight night. So, you know, we wear 8-ounce gloves. We don't spar. So, so you know, if that move up don't bother him, then why not? You know, he, I, like I said, I think he's talented. I think he's good. Uh, I just think this weight class is for a reason. And uh, if we fight, uh, I, I intend on showing that. Who is he going to expose from Adrian Broner? Yeah, yeah. There's things I like. Uh, I, I like the fight. I like the fight a lot. I I, uh, I like the fight a lot. You know, uh, I see some people saying, you uh, know, oh, con speed bothered me and Broner speech bothered me. But it's a different kind of speed. It's a different kind of style kind of height, which really makes a big difference. Uh, he's, he's a little guy. He's about 5'4". I've stood next to Adrian. You know, he's, he's not a big guy at all. I don't care how wide his shoulders are. The height is this way, not this way. You know what I mean? So, so uh, it's a totally different fight. And, you know, I do think he has skills. I just, I just haven't seen somebody who can punch him in the mouth yet. And uh, I got enough speed and skills to, to catch him. And, and we'll see what happens. You know, like I said, I'm not trying to knock the kid up. It's an ambitious move to move up to weight classes. It's an ambitious move on his team. But, uh... I think they bite off more than they can chew. Now, if it happens or not, we'll see. You know, because uh, like I said, I'm I don't care personally what kind of what which which guy I fight. I care mostly uh, what kind of money comes to the table, and hopefully, you know, uh, I can get the the fight that's worth the most money to me and my guys and my team. If we all work hard and we deserve to get paid the best.